Hi guys, this is Sadiq from droidbrain.com and in this video, we will show you how to install the Expose framework, also known as LS Post, on Android 13 phones. So as of now, I am running a custom ROM, so that's not an issue. You could install the Expose framework across both the stock ROM as well as custom ROM. It's valid across all the Android phones and all the versions of the firmware. So currently, I am running OnePlus 70. It's based on Android 13. And it's a CI Android ROM. So as mentioned before, you could try across both the stock and custom ROM running on Android 13 or any version older than that. It should also work on Android 11, Android 12 as well. So with that in mind, let's get started. First and foremost, you'll have to root your phone via Magisk. So if you haven't done so, then I have linked a guide in the description. Go there and check it out. In short, you have to get hold of the boot IMG file, then patch it via Magisk and flash it either directly flash it onto your phone via fastboot flash command or boot it using fastboot boot command and then select install and go to direct install. This will root your phone. Or if your phone comes with Android 13 out of the box, such as the Pixel 7 series or OnePlus 11 series, then you will have to use the init boot file instead of the normal boot file and then patch it via magisk and flash it via fastboot commands. Once you have done, make sure your phone is rooted via magisk and then we could proceed ahead. So our next course of action is to enable Zygis on your phone. So for enabling Zygis, launch a magisk app, then tap on the settings icon, and from there, enable the toggle next to Zygisk. After that, you'll have to restart your phone. Yes, it's compulsory. So restart your phone and then relaunch the Magisk app. Now make sure you're getting yes next to Zygisk. As you could see in my case, I'm getting yes next to Zygisk. So this means Zygisk have been enabled. So your next course of action is to download the Zygisk Expose Framework module. So for that, I have given a link in the description. Go to my site and open this link. It will take you to do the step three. So from there, rather it's yes. So just a minute this is the go to step two and you have to download this module and click on the github download link and it will now download the module from there you have to go to the release section it's just a release section and download the module next to zygis make sure it's the zygis module and not the review module we have to get hold of the zygis module so download it on your phone once you have done that you have to now flash it via magisk so launch the magisk app then go to modules and tap on install from storage. Now select the LS Post module and it will now be flashed onto your phone. Once that is done, you'll have to tap on reboot and restart your phone. So let's do that right away. So guys, our phone is now restarted. So let's open the Magic Cap and re-verify that the module has been activated. As you could see, the Zygis LS Post module is active. So our next course of action is to install the APK file because as of now, the LS Post or Expose framework has been installed in the backend. There is no UI in the front end through which you could interact. So you will now have to install the APK file. Regarding this, there is no standard separate APK file. So please do not download any APK file from any third party website. Rather, the module itself has an APK file. Let me show you what I mean. So go to the file folder tab and within that, go to the folder where you have installed the downloaded LS Post. This is the LS Post zip file. Go to the zip file and within the LS Post zip file itself, you will get a magic man you get a manager.apk this is the apk file which you have to use from the zip file itself so select it and then extract it anywhere on your pc in my case i have done the extraction in my phone so let me show you so this is the manager apk file you simply have to install this so just tap on install make sure not to download this apk file from any other source just use the same zip file and from that zip file extract the apk and install it on your phone as you could see we have now installed it you will now get a notification about parasitic manager recommended tap on ok then go to the notification bar and again tap on ls post loaded and once again load it from here so it will take a few seconds and it has now loaded and make sure there is no notification has been loaded you are showing so it's well and good now you could install the desired module of your choice there are two ways for once you could go to the download section and you could get hold of all the modules from here for example let's try and install the all trans module so you could go through the readme page from the it's linked with the github and you could go to the release section and download from the asset section then just select the apk file it will now take you to the github page from the github page simply download the apk and it will be installed yes as opposed to magisk where you have a zip module in case of expose you get the modules mostly in apk format so we have now downloaded the apk and simply hit install it will now install the module as apk once done you could open it but first Make sure to activate the module in the LS Post as well. You will get a notification regarding that as well as you could see. Expose module is not yet activated yet. So either you could interact from here or manually go to the LS Post app. Let me show you. And launch it from here and then go to the module section. 
select the module and just enable it. With this, the module has been enabled, and now you could carry out the task you want. You could either interact from here or simply launch launch the APK file of that module. In our case, it was the all trans module. So launch it and then you could carry out the desired task. So you could either execute the this app from its APK file or simply you could do so from the LS Post module as well, as you could see. Now the second method of carrying out this task is downloading a module from a third party site such as GitHub. In some cases, you might not get some of the modules over here. So if that is the case, then you could download from GitHub as well. Let me show you. So this is a classic power menu module which brings back the Android 11 power menu wherein you could add the credit card in the power menu itself. So this module is not there in the repository of LS Post. So we have to download it from here from the GitHub page. So let's download it from here and we could install it and load it to the LS Post framework as well. Let me show you the APK has now been downloaded and you simply need to install it as any normal APK. Once that is done, you could open it from here as well or a much better approach will be to first go to LS Post so launch the ls post then go to modules and select go back select the classic power menu module and enable the toggle from here after that you could now launch the module it's our classic power menu and then you could it will now verify for root so tap on grant and you could now set up the power menu if you get something like this then it's a new android 13 settings for that it's not an issue simply tap on ok then go to settings menu then go to app Select the app, tap on the overflow icon and select allow restrict settings. Once that is done, you could now relaunch the app and you could now enable the service without any issues. So enable it from here, tap on allow and let's just do it. Finish the module is now active and let's check out the result. In my, as you could see, in there is the new power menu. In my case, I do not have any banking apps on my phone. That is why there is no card added here. If there was a card, then you might, you would have seen here. So guys, this was all from this guide on how you could install LS Post. So now let's move over to a to a last section which involves how you could disable the module and remove it from your phone. So to disable the module, simply launch the LS Post and from there go to the module section and just toggle it off. With this, the module has been disabled from your phone. To uninstall any module, that simple, you just need to uninstall the APK file. So just select the APK file, hit uninstall and tap OK. The APK will be removed and with that, let me show you, let's remove both the modules. So the APK has been removed and now as you go to the LS Post framework, there is no module present. So guys, that was it and yes, if you want to re remove LS Post as well, then for that you have to launch the Magisk app, go to the module section, disable the toggle next to LS Post and tap on remove. After that, restart your phone and LS Post will be removed from your phone for good. So guys, this was all from this video on how you could install LS Post on your Android 13 phone. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And please subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.